Better. Thanks, Chris. Well, window treatments can make or break the style of your room. Adding curtains or drapes to a window can really create a focal point, make the room see larger, taller. Chet Porsche, you know how to do this excellently. Oh, so thank so you. fill us thank in. You. Fill us in. You know, you're exactly right. Window treatments can either make or break a room or a house. And there's a couple of things you have to think about when you're doing window treatments. You have to think about the architectural style of your house your own mm -hmm. personal taste, and also the room that the window treatments are going to go into. So basically today I'm going to, it's going to be a very informative segment. I'm going to talk to you about basic window treatments because I get asked all the time, like how do I know what's best for my window or what's best for my budget? So I'm going to start off with showing you just what a basic window treatment is. This is just a sheer. And shears come in an array of different colors, array of different fabrics, oh, and like they have shears that are opaque you know, some with a little shimmer, but there's also shears that are just basic, and these are called Baptiste fabrics, which is just a basic white or ivory. As you can see, this color keeps reappearing as the color, the hot color for this year. <laughs> I keep reusing it. People are going to know what this color is. And there's different kind of top treatments. Like this is called pinch pleat, which is a triple pinch pleat. This leans toward more of the transitional look. And what transitional means is it's more traditional and modern mixed together. And okay. so there's a triple pinch pleat, but also pinch pleat you can get done in a double pinch or a single pinch pleat. So that's one style of drapes. The next thing is we're gonna talk about is valances, which people are really familiar with valances. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of these things you really don't have to do custom. You can actually buy these huh. in stores. Okay. But you know, once again, custom is always better because you get to fit your window exactly how it should be. This is a sheer, but the sheer has been backed with a blackout fabric. I was gonna say it doesn't look sheer. Yeah, but it's a, it's a sheer. And the oh. great thing about this is, the great thing about backing a sheer with um, with blackout fabric is that you can use this sheer in any room. Normally I wouldn't say you would use a sheer in a bedroom because of the light coming in in the morning and it'll wake you up. But if you back a sheer with either a blackout or with another sheer, this is ideal for using in a bedroom and basically anywhere. And this is a valance. What's a valance usually used for? It's a top treatment that goes above your window. And then if you decide you just like valances, that's great. But if you want to do something different and maybe put fabric underneath it, you can create a whole nother visual with it. Oh. You have like a valance and also a curtain. Okay. You know, once again, and this is linen fabric, which is really like light that. and yeah, really light and airy. And the great thing about linen is that you don't have to have a blackout drape behind linen, but it's still light and airy. It still gives you the, you know, just enough light to let the light come in. Another another thing we're gonna talk about today is this is called this is more of a formal look. These are called goblet pleats. And what goblet huh. pleats are is that they're more of a formal look. You usually use those in like living rooms or dining rooms. And the really funny part about this, because I just recently learned that the way they keep these goblet pleats up and kind of out is that they stick toilet paper in them. <laughs> are you serious? Seriously. <laughs> They stick You're toilet right, paper in this. them. Yeah, and that's what gives it the fullness <laughs> of the goblet pleat. Tricks you know, of the trade. Tricks of the trade, exactly. <laughs> giving you all my tricks today. So this is a goblet pleat. This fabric is a little more formal. So you would normally see this, like I said, in a living room or a dining room. But there's other type of window treatments that you can use as well. There's something called Roman shades, which Roman shades comes in in a variety of different colors and different styles. As you can see, this is a Roman shade oh. from a great company called Hunter Douglas, which you can do these custom, but you can also buy these as well. This is a nice green, but if you want to do them where you could just buy them, they usually come in very basic colors. Right. Another great thing that is really great about window treatments is these are called accordion shades, and a lot of people are kind of familiar with accordion shades. they really basic really cost effective and they're really easy to work with and the really thing I like about this is they're easy to clean and you pull them down and once they're done you just basically raise it back up it's a real easy process you know curtain rods are really something that can either make or break the drapery that you use. These are modern curtain rods, but also you don't have to do modern curtain rods. You can do the traditional wood rod. Mm -hmm. And what's really great about the tra traditional wood rod is this is your DIY tip for the day. Okay. You can actually paint these wood curtain rods that could either match 
the drapery that you're using also match your wall treatments. Oh. So curtain rods are really something that adds a little bit of extra to just maybe a basic curtain or it could tone down something that may be really kind of over the top. So these are the these are really great ideas for these are really great ideas for window treatments. Once again, shop within your budget. Make sure you know what you're looking for. Find the right fabrics for you. Find the right colors for you and that could really make or break or create your room. Real quick, I want to wish you a happy birthday because I know that's coming up. And <laughs> I didn't you. get to do your segment last week. Happy one year anniversary with Fox 8. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm pleased to be here. All right, we'll have all of Chet's tips on our website, fox8live.com. Keep it right.